Legend of Total War here with part 4 of my uh, Call of Warhammer Beginning of the End Times Let's Play campaign as the Principality of Reichland. Now in the previous episode we had the music running and um, I uploaded that video. I haven't, I've only released episode 1 so far because obviously you guys know I pre-record my episodes and I got stamped with two copyright claims. Now what that means is that two sections of the audio in that video have to be pretty much removed and diluted so take note of that and let me know whether or not you guys didn't care that I had to do that because it's basically a requirement from YouTube or else I'm in trouble. Um, yeah, but for this episode I've turned off music because I hate dealing with copyright claims. It's such a pain in the ass and it's unfortunate because I actually do really like the soundtrack. Alright, now. Um, let's see. I've got a priest here that I'm sort of using as a spy. Move him up north here. And let's follow, follow the roads. Okay, so Volgan's there. There's an army here. Um, we shall not take a step back. Can we? That's the faction leader. Let me see if I can actually get there. there is bloody work to be done this okay, we can actually get there this turn. All right. I think it's best we just be as aggressive as possible against their enemy and just just hit it. Hit it hard. Hit it hard and fast and hit it now. Alright, who are we going to leave behind here? Okay, we've got Empire Crossbowmen, Empire Archers. I'll take both of those. I'll leave behind uh, those, I suppose. Ah, damn it. We organized them wrong. Alright, good stuff. Okay, Count Joseph. Let's go kill him. Now, I'm going to be in de desperate need to, I guess, recruit as many troops as I can. Which is why we need to just, you know, keep hitting them as hard as we can, I suppose. The more regions we own, the more territories we can uh, recruit from. And the less that the enemy will be able to. Alright, let's just stand well back here. Use the cannons here firstly to blow open some sections of wall. And then the artillery, and uh, then the mortars to hit the enemy units behind the walls. Nice. Killed a couple of them. Gotta love them cannons. Alright, blow up another section here. Alright, they can hit them there. And what are these? These look like great swords. So yeah, if we can hit them there with the mortars, that would be awesome. Because yeah, they do heaps of damage. So having these weapons here makes assaulting settlements really easy. Hell of a lot better than hell cannons. Because the thing is, hell cannons only come with like one unit in the battalion, one cannon. These come with four, so they're so much more effective. Even if even if the individual shots don't do as much damage, they're also a hell of a lot more accurate. Hell hell cannons are just all over the place. I do not like this weather condition here. Okay, getting closer because you, you guys don't seem to have a hell of a lot of ammo. I need you to blow these things up just in case they come up this way. Good, the fog's going away. Fucking large towns, I swear. They're trying to hit these things. They're hitting it, they're just not doing any damage. Hang on, stand over here. Okay, get him even fucking closer. Pretty much have to be point blank range to hit these fucking things. Okay, then you, yeah, just bomb this area here. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Oh 
Well, you've still got some shots left as well. See if you can land a hit. Uh, now they've got a uh, grape shot. I'm going to stay back over here now. These guys are doing a good enough job. See, they do they do damage against the settlement walls, but these guys are, are there to do damage against the um, troops. And they have bombed the living fuck out. We killed 76% of the enemy army with mortars. I think it's due to the explosive round of them. Like, they just do so much damn damage. So they're never going to be able to wipe out the entire garrison, but the fact that they've got 92% of them, I'd be lucky if they managed to land another hit. They've also got increased uh, weapon damage, thanks to Reichland, I suppose. Alright, now, if we want to do this without taking any casualties, we can either send... You know what, I'll send in the generals, because they'll recover their casualties. There's no way they're going to kill them. The other option was... Um, Actually, if I could just get you to stand right here, I might use a pistolier. Because I don't think they've got any archers. I think it's important we keep our casualties to an absolute minimum. Pistoliers in this do about the same amount of damage as they do in Total War Warhammer. Fuck all. But I still think they're more effective in this. We are being attacked. This means we didn't lose a single man in, in this battle. Not one. Sack it or just occupy it. If I occupy, I'm not gonna make much money. I'm not gonna make much money by. Hmm, I think I will just occupy it. I don't want them to be noble. See, I don't think it actually increases population growth. No, it doesn't. Well, I've got another settlement here that's actually making quite a lot of cash. This needs to be. Uh, there's other things I'd rather buy right now. Now, didn't I get some merchants out this way, or did I just... Yeah, I just got him. No, no, there was this guy over here. He's he's making jack shit. If I brought him over here, he'd make a little bit more. So he's trading arcane secrets. Alright, All right, so... These guys won't be able to move again this turn. Take five turns until new recruitment becomes available. Okay, we really need to focus a lot on recruitment, I think, so I'm just going to recruit whatever I can. I'm just thinking what to do. I might bring these guys... Over here, because this guy here needs to be dealt with. I won't be able to make, to, make it to him this turn. If you just stand... If you stand here and build a watchtower for me. And there's Sterling out there. Defeat is impossible. Why can't I build a watchtower here? Uh, that That's a bit big. I mean, Sterling... We're neutral with them, but... They're coming this way. I right, come to here. Is that all I can get? Well, get that then. Might be able to defend the settlement if they do attack. I feel like we're going to need to just get as many troops as we can from anywhere. Don't worry about construction too much. Oh, 
high elf spears. 200 upkeep cost. Alright, get those. Oh, I'm out of money. Okay, well, we also need Karl Franz, of course, to continue his conquest of Bretonia. Which, you know, it, it's about securing the borders. We can, um... I mean, until Norsecan tribes come down this way, we should be fairly safe. We'll probably have to lower the taxes here. Just leave behind this guy here, and let's get moving. Okay, they've got a fort there, but I'd rather just bypass that so we can get to Lyonese next turn. And hopefully these guys here can open the gates. So yeah, just bypass that. <coughs> now, if we had taken this, we could have sat there and um, recovered our... Uh, Uh, recovered our um because uh, it four units i think go in free upkeep but uh, we've got to get a move on with this anyway we're making decent amount of money but the problem is we just don't have much troops in the um recruitment pool anyway there's troops being recruited there so it's not it's not gonna stay oh, actually let me just drop that a bit increase the taxes here need the money and we're making 9,700 turn. That's pretty good. Volgan's, Volgan's definitely giving us a lot of money. Okay, let's move on. So, country of... Sorry, county of Wissenland. What do they want? Sterling made their attack, sort of, that well, they've besieged, they haven't made their attack yet. Holding the, I mean, defending against that shouldn't be too difficult, depending on whether or not they decide to starve us out or not. Um, sponsored by Emperor Karl, sure, I'm going to need everything I can get. I would like to accept this. It's just it's a risk because I need troops, but I, I think I can get away with it. Oh, they gave me some money. Good. So that was here. What does the merchants go do? Increase in tradable, tradable goods. Eh. Okay, now. They've got six units in here. Alright, what else is going on? Most advanced faction is us. We've also... Maybe overstretched ourselves. I don't know. That's what I like to do, though. Right, so how many units do, how many units do they have? Eleven, and how many do I have in here? Nine, I think. That's not too bad. I think we could defend against that. Depending on what they I mean they haven't got anything like fantastic. Their archers are really gonna struggle against us. We don't have that many archers. But you know, the towers on, on a large town are a pain in the ass to deal with. Wissen Land seems to be sending an army against us as well. So, yeah. So the following factions now are with each other. The Grand County of Stirland. Everyone's forming alliances essentially against me. That's fine. I mean, I wanted to unite the Empire. We only really do that through bloodshed anyway. Get everyone in here. Forty-nine percent. Toss of a coin at the moment. Fifty-eight percent. I think this is my best spy. Seventy-one percent chance he'll open the gate. Ah, oh, you piece of shit! I really needed that. Oh well. Yeah. Toss the coin, sometimes it doesn't land in your favor. We'll get a next turn though, and it, since it's a minor city, I thought it was a large town. Um, because it's a minor city, it's worth a bit more, and also these settlements that have ports will be very valuable come the late campaign. So we've now got 10 regions, so 17 more, and we'll finish the campaign anyway. Alright, so. We should probably make a consolidated effort to finish off Talabakland before um, 
Hmm. I mean, they need to be dealt with. I mean, if I lose these settlements here, it doesn't really matter too much. Whatever. Let's follow the road here. And i got to know where these settlements are, because I don't know. There's a fort there that's unoccupied. Okay, Tal sorry, Talibheim, that's the settlement, which is a l huge city. And if we had... Oh, that's so defensible, because it's got the fort there as well. Alright, yeah, we got to get moving. It's, there's barely any defenders here. So if we can get there quickly, I mean, taking that city there would be worth losing all of our minor cities out here, I think. Alright, so we definitely need our cannons for that, which will slow us down. If we didn't have the cannons, I tell you what I could do. I could send the Pistoliers and the Reichsguard up ahead. Oh, hang on. There's there's troops that will block our way. Who are we going to leave behind? I'm going to leave behind the Altdorf's Company of Honor. Drop the taxes just down to normal. Should be fine. So this guy here is blocking, is barring our way. He needs to die. Or just piss off, whichever comes first. No, he'll need to die. Flagellants. Alright, let's go kill them. So the Pistoliers should be able to handle this just by themselves. So we should be able to take Telepheim next turn. If all goes well. Right, like, they're standing right in front of us. So if you want to get started shooting them, and if you guys here want to just move out of the way. Watch it, watch it. Don't want to get any friendly fire. You should stop. So they're still eager. What's their pretty damn good morale? They're just savages. Good, didn't lose anyone. That's what we want to see. Oh, make him a family member. F uh, fuck it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so... The cannons can only get to here, which is fine. As long as... Okay, yeah, the pistol is and stuff. They can still make... A lot of distance. Now, the problem here is if I leave these... If I take... A, bring them over here. The benefit in doing that is that these guys won't have any upkeep. The downside is if I get attacked during the end turn, I don't have these guys to support me. So it's sort of a double-edged sword. It's a bit of a risk because I have no idea what's out here. I mean, we did destroy a very large, um, actually two large um, tele Telebackland armies. So, I mean, how many do they have? I guess we could check here, get an idea of how strong they are. So militarily, they're weak as shit. Okay, so they don't have many troops at all. So I'll take that risk, and this will save us a lot of money. Technically, we could send this guy as well, but like I said, we don't want to risk too much. But that'll that'll save us quite a lot of cash there. 
And also the benefit of that is to stop them from putting someone in the fort there, essentially barring our way. But that being said, we've got artillery to just go right through them. But still, that's another battle we'd have to do. Rather keep them stuck in that settlement. The Emperor rewards the bravest. My sword arm is still as strong as ever. Alright, so we need to recruit pretty much everywhere, but we should be focusing primarily in mainland Reichland. These cannons have proven to be very valuable. So yeah, uh, I can only get... Yeah, I'd rather get the mortar for... Uh, which one's first? Um, so we hired him. Free upkeep on these at the moment. They come with a lot of experience. Northern Marines. Yeah, man, I, I'm regretting now getting that stupid thing. The um, Merchant's Guild. Because it was an expensive building. Hellstore fleet, yeah, whatever. Okay, I don't think I can do much else this turn. I mean, I've only got, like, got less than a thousand left. Might be able to actually recruit something here. Yeah, let's recruit some Empire Swordsmen. Good, and let's move on. I hope Sterling makes the attack. I have a feeling they won't, though. So pay them 150, or they will attack. So I'm happy to accept that, but I feel like they're just going to attack me anyway. It was a fair deal, yes. Very well. What else do you have to suggest? This proposal is of little... We hope for more... See? You can't trust them. It is... The thing is, though, they asked for tribute. So they don't get it now. Okay, good. They're going to make this attack. I don't think they can stand a chance. I mean, they just, for one thing, they outnumber us by only a small margin, and this is a large town, which is, as I've said, a pain in the ass to take early in the campaign because of the towers. Towers do so much damage, even even against the enemy. It does more to you on the hardest difficulty, because obviously AI get buffs. But, um, I mean, we're going to lose a few troops, but I just don't, I can't see them winning this. Alright, let's reorganize this firstly. I've only got the one archer. So they should be wherever the enemy are not going to attack, which is right here. Yeah, you should stay down here. Um, what are they attacking with over here? Empire Spearmen, so we should probably put some sort of swordsman there. Plenty of backup to uh, fill up the lines where needed. Right, let's do this. They don't have a hell of a lot of siege equipment either. Oh no, the amount of effort that was put into this mod is just insane. Like they, they even put in like these custom, custom towers and walls and everything. So impressed by this mod. If only if it wasn't so fucking crashed to desktopy, which, you know. Pretty much all mods have that, that issue for Medieval 2. I wouldn't worry too much about um, getting rid of the, uh, the battering ram either. I mean, I could send a unit out there to make it drop it, but... I didn't see any need to do that. Um, shield walls. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Why don't we do that? How about you stand back over here? Oh, fuck. They're getting attacked here. Um, that's no good. Okay, um, where are we going to put you then? I can't leave you there. You'll have to come off the wall. 
bring this guy over here instead. Quick, hurry up, get over here. Okay, they'll be here very soon through the walls, so make sure you get into this nice tight formation. So far we've killed 10% of the enemy, so that would be about 170 men, so we should be even in numbers now. Hopefully you can just make sure you hold the line, because a lot of them are probably going to fight to the death. Nope, I guess not, they broke. We didn't lose many men. Oh yeah, we got this. Don't forget, most of their units are archers. They're coming at us pretty hard and heavy over here though. Empire Spearmen here didn't do a very good job at defending them. Defending the wall, but that's... that's fine. The thing is, if they're here, then this, these towers are shooting, so let's have a look now. We've lost 7 to 16 percent, so seem to be doing pretty well. Well, so much for that shield wall. Maybe I need to put them in guard mode as well. I'm not overly fast by it. Anyway, the more we can sort of push them out this way, the more these towers are going to keep shooting them. Now, what am I going to do about my archers? I don't have any good angles to shoot from at the moment. Oh, they've got some cavalry. Um, spears, quickly get down here. Actually, the hell it is. Oh, we've got some spearmen here. Our guys are doing alright. Okay, whatever the fuck you guys are doing, quit it. So they've got their gun shooting. The fuck are these? These are like hobbits. Are these the halfling or something? Looks like fucking leprechauns. Why would you bring them into a fight? Now, these guys are totally lost. Then yeah, I think there's two battalions up here. That's why they lost. They're outnumbered. So percentage-wise, we're winning. All right, get down here. Alright, I want you to shoot it in there if you can. It means shooting over over the wall, which isn't the best, but they're just sitting there doing nothing. That's part of the problem here. Actually, no, no. Come over here. If you come over here, I might be able to shoot at them. But you got to angle it right. So we still got our towers shooting here, so that's good. And there as well. Who's shooting? Is it the Knights of the Raven? Yeah, I think they've got guns. How's this going? Yeah, that's, that's alright. At least they're getting some fairly accurate shots in. Ok, 
Okay, now it says victory is a distinct possibility, so basically we've won. I do hope we kill him. We've captured 76 enemy units, that could be good. Of course, don't ransom them off, we'll be executing them. Doesn't matter about the money. There's no point getting money if you're gonna strengthen your uh, enemy. Then again, it takes money away from them, but they get like unlimited anyway. Yeah, push them out of the walls, that way we can keep shooting them. Actually, yeah, no, you stay right there. Okay, you should probably stop now. Tell me that was their bodyguard, because that'd be awesome. I mean, the general. No, I think it was just some regular dude. Let's have a look. Which one would be their general? Maybe this one here, the one with the colored hat, rather than black and white. Colored feathers, I mean. So we had 85%, killed 83% of them. But didn't some units already get away, like, some time ago? I don't know. Get over here. Keep fighting them. These guys here, they seem to be mowing right through us. Where's the general's bodyguard? What do you expect? And still, this raid, he's not going to be able to escape. Maybe stand up here, and maybe then you could actually shoot at them. Good, they've got like none of them left. And then it's just him. Which, you know, they've always got heaps of hit points, but he's about to die. I hope this is one of those instances where if you fight the general um, and kill him in battle that it crashes the game. I really hope that isn't the case. I hope they fix that. Because that was one of my biggest gripes on Call of Warhammer. Rage of the Dark Gods. Okay, we killed him and... Good. No crash. So, so far this game's actually more stable than um, Rage of the Dark Gods. Now these guys over here, they'll be breaking soon. Let's prepare to capture them if we can. There we go. Very nice. Now, stop shooting, because... Yeah, we want to no, just capture them if we can. Okay, we should have pretty much wiped out the army, if, especially if we execute them. So we only lost 28% of our troops. That's nothing compared to what they lost. Now we need to use this army to lift the siege at the other settlement. Hopefully we've got enough troops to do that. Because we would have lost the equivalent of about two battalions. Which is, it's a lot. Considering it's early campaign. But, I don't know, I think we can still work with this. Actually, that army's like half the size of the one at Ubershrike. Provincial Sergeant's Academy. I can't, oh man, no. Sorry, I mean, I would want to, but 
finances are an issue. They just recruited a bunch of units there. Well, well, uh, more more work for our mortars to do, I suppose. So yeah, those cocksuckers, they took our money, well, well, they made us agree to that, and then they just betrayed it anyway. Okay, if I was to... Well, we'll be in the uh, episode in a moment. Largest faction, cool. Let me just press M here and merge them. So we've still got eight units here, plus those three, sort of minus that one, so it's more like ten, up against eleven. We could potentially bring him down, and the Outriders. These guys wouldn't make it down there. So we can bring that to 12. We can beat them. You're the one fucking attacking me, you cunt. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe, part 5 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.